And so I was asked to stake the thing out, and I was wondering why the driveway was going up the other way, but that's the way it, that was the way it was permitted, and it's been there since the subdivision was created. The subdivision, the original subdivision, was done in the Registry of Deeds. It has subsequently been filed in the land court, and it has been decreed. In looking at the certificate of title, there are no rights that have been granted. Okay. Um, you seem to be pretty cut and dried. The one problem we have, um, and I usually go to the board for comments, um, you've been coming before us for a number of decades. You and I go way back. Um, you're a smart man. You're giving us the impression that you have frontage when you don't. Uh, so you really don't have the right for a subdivision. And I'm a little upset that you wasted staff's time running around town hall getting all these answers to questions when you need to go to the ZBA, not here. I'm going to make a motion to deny this, and I hope the board will get a second and we can discuss it. Okay, I apologize. It's a lousy way to go out for dinner, but I'm not going to subjugate uh, our own rules for a uh, Mickey Mouse subdivision. I'm sorry. Could I have a second, please? So moved. Thank second. you. It's on, the, it's on the floor for discussion. Anybody else would like to talk to the, to the applicant? Y yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, Years ago, we spent a lot of time on the rules and regs relative to subdivision, ANRs and what have you. And as I recall, at that point, we wanted to make the rules and regs something that people could live with, developers could live with, not too stringent. And I think we were able to do that. And this ANR that comes before us tonight. It's not an ANR. It's a subdivision. It, so, so, sorry, subdivision. This subdivision that comes before us tonight is um, goes against the grain of what we tried to do originally. And I think that um, my concern would be setting a precedent mm -hmm. by going forward with this that would lay the foundation for anyone else to come forward and say, look at what you did for Old Hyannis Road. Mm -hmm. I have a long history with the town of Yarmouth, having started my career working here. There are a number of roads in this town that have been extended for the purposes of getting 50 feet of frontage. That's all that was done for. This is being extended only so that they can meet the 500 foot requirement from the road. Okay. The other option is to go with an A&R plan and go to the Zoning Board of Appeals and have the zone. However, as you're aware, we're looking for, you would be looking for a variance. And a variance, you must show that you have a hardship, and the hardship must be based upon either soil, shape, or topography as to why you cannot conform. This plan clearly shows that it can conform. And we have a motion on the floor to deny. Uh, anybody else want to speak to this? Uh, my, my question um, uh, to the chairman: um, Didn't we didn't we just approve um, uh, to um, a, a a rental apartment and a and a owner occupied um, dwelling uh, on on the same lot in in our most recent uh, round? During and just approved at town meeting? It wasn't approved at town meeting? The, the, you mean the accessory dwelling unit? Yeah. It failed at town it meeting. It failed. Oh, all right. So we, can't, we don't have okay. it, it, well, I think right. it would have been a potential it, it option. Been, it, yeah. it would have been possible. Okay. My other comment has to do with uh, the point that Mr. Brandolini brought up that with the, um, with the layout, there, there are no um, there are no notations on here as to sideline um, um, dimensions, and, et cetera. Uh, so in, in, many, in many ways, this is a very incomplete plan. We, we had given Mr. Brandolini a plan that showed him what the setbacks are on that. 
you know, showing and, and, and being able to show in, in uh, specific dimension has, are two different things. Norm normally, the land court requires that you must locate a building if it is in close proximity to the line. In this case, they're all, none of them are close to the line and they're all well over the minimum setback requirement. Well, that's not clear. We'd be happy to furnish you with yeah. the, same, the same offset plan. It, it would have this, been, is, it, this is just a preliminary at yeah. this point in time. The, the, it would have been uh, helpful to have seen that now. Uh, right now, I believe this is, there's a project number on this thing that's about 2,000 and something. Um, 2816. Yeah. Two. We're working on, on project number 8,000 and something right now. It's from a very old version of AutoCAD. Uh, I tried to get a PDF off of it, and it's such an old version that we had deep trouble trying to do that. The plan that we gave to the building commissioner and his assistant to show the setback requirements I can't somehow adjust what's called line type scale. The dimensioning is absolutely huge. We'd be happy to furnish the plan if you want to continue it, if you want us to request a continuance to give you that information, we'd be happy to do it. Anybody else want to comment before I call the vote? Mr. Ch Chairman, um, is there any value in uh, denying without prejudice? They'd have to withdraw without prejudice. Okay. Oops, Denying it doesn't doesn't do anything. Uh, they no, still. I, I, my point is, when we're saying we're denying, we're just saying that right now we're not opposed to the plan per se, but it doesn't. You know, you need to do something else in order to get approval. That's and it's be, it's outside of our bailiwick because. He doesn't have the necessary frontage. He's given the illusion or the impression that he has with each drawing, but he clearly doesn't. So he has the right to withdraw. Would you like to withdraw or would you want me to call the vote? My, my, in order to go to the Zoning Board of Appeals, I have to have a denial of some kind. Okay. Okay, that, that, that's, the bo that's the bottom line. Uh, if I go to the Zoning Board of Appeals, quite frankly, an A&R plan is much simpler to do. However, we're gonna have to show hardship based upon soil shape and topography. And I can show you that on that plan that I can make it work. You're a very talented man. I'm sure you got, you've got it going. Do you want anything to say anything before uh, I call them up? Yeah, I, I think it's denying it based on you not constructing anything. Right. If you actually wanted to construct a road, that's something that would probably be something that the, the planning board could approve. So the denial here with the motion, I think is something that you need to explain very clearly why you're denying it. And there's some language in, in the memo, um, and maybe we can amend. Okay. Yes. Um, because you're, you're simply, you're, you are, it is illusory frontage because you're not creating any of the road. It's almost a paper road that you want to create to, in a sense, move the street to, to meet the zoning bylaw. And I do agree with what Brad was say, uh, yeah. saying yeah. that um, you're looking for relief from the zoning bylaw requirements, and that should be sought through the ZBA um, and not through the creation of basically a, a fake subdivision. So I just want to be clear that if you wanted to construct something, that that might be viewed differently from by the planning board than what you're currently proposing, which is just to create the, the um, right-of-way limits but not construct anything. We'd be happy to go to the Zoning Board of Appeals and, and take our chances there, but realize that I'm not seeing that we meet the criteria for soil shape or topography. If you want to support us on our petition, we'd be happy to have your support. Uh, does anyone do you want Tom to read? I didn't know. I didn't see this in. I, I think we need to amend the motion so that if because you need to if you're going to deny, you need to clearly identify why you're denying it, and this gives you some language if the board feels that that's what the way they want to go. Okay. The uh, the other thing that so so the rest of the board knows as a as a result of filing a preliminary plan, 
whether you approve it or deny it, they still get zoning protection. In this case, it yeah. doesn't matter because there's no zoning anticipated. Uh, and the fact that we filed a preliminary plan also gets us protection under what's called Chapter 111, Section 127P, so long as we bring a definitive plan in at some point in time in the next seven months, that protection also, and that's, that's from changes from any environmental code, of which I don't know of, the, of anything's being proposed anyway. But the, uh, the approval or the denial of the preliminary plan doesn't change the fact that it still holds the zoning. Okay, Mr. Chairman, um, uh, uh, in keeping with uh, Kathy's comment uh, about construction, um, the entrance uh, to the existing path, if you will, to access these uh, buildings back here, uh, in order to in order to have a a, a proper entrance from the uh, from Old Hyannis Road, this th th is going to require uh, construction in any event. Um, it, it is a very difficult lo location. Uh, w a lot of boulders and other things are going to be moved, and most of the construction is going to be within the uh, uh, tra transmission right of way. Um, the 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 concept of making this a a um, um, a roadway makes sense if you're going to approach it from from the construction side of things. Um, it, it would at least eliminate the idea of having um, a, one of the property corners of, of the neighbor in the middle of the roadway. I mean, it's it, it, talk, talk about who's encroaching on who. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there, there are a lot of issues here that uh, um, really, I, I would think, need to be rethought. Okay. Do you, um, is it okay if Tom reads your comments? Just I, I think if, if Tom can make a motion to amend the motion as yeah. outlined. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to uh, amend the motion. Second. Well, he's got to read what it is. Go ahead. The pre preliminary plan as proposed is not consistent with the intent and purpose of the subdivision control law and would require waiving of the most or not of or all of the required improvements outlined in the town of Miami's rules and regulations governing the subdivision of the land. That kind of says it all in a sentence. Do you want to not say the rest of it? Well, if you feel as though it should be in. I need to give a reason. If that's sufficient keep to the going. board, that's fine. Okay. Now keep going. The plan creates illusionary frontage for the sole purpose of meeting zoning bylaw section 203.2.1 to allow the creation of two lots. Relief from the zoning bylaw requirements should be sought through the proper authority, which is the Zoning Board of Appeals, and not through the creation of a Fox subdivision. Fox subdivision. Now I'll second it. Thank you for typing that. I didn't see it. I was just looking at the plans. So thank you. Uh, any more discussion? Seeing none, hearing none. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstained. Thank you. I apologize. I wish you good luck. And I hope you knock it out of the park. See the young Jerry Fairman. If not, no. if not, you'll see us back. One, actually, you'll see us back one way or the other. All right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, All right. Well, hopefully, you can make it work. <laughs> so, Norm, no, I'm going to take this as the denial to go apply to the ZBA with the ANR plan. Yep. Um, technically, it's supposed to come from the building commissioner. Um, but just to come from the building commissioner? he's going to one the, he's the one's going to deny the permit we will as a planning board make a formal denial of your preliminary subdivision which will be recorded um, with the town clerk as well as you will get a copy okay. of it okay. it's not through the building department my question do you want me to bring the a and r plan which is already drawn in for you to endorse it and have me note on the that they don't conform, or do you want me to go to ZBA first? You should go to ZBA yeah. first, in my opinion. Um, typically, what we've been requiring is people to go to the ZBA and then to document on the ANR plan um, the petition number and the um, book and page with which it's been recorded. Yeah. That is very clean and clear to people that it, how it was allowed. Because it's land court, it's going to be difficult to find the stuff. 
<laughs> that adds to complications, unfortunately. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Have a nice evening. Good luck. Uh, a recap of the annual town meeting. I didn't know if anybody wanted to talk about it. <laughs> a little therapy. <laughs> or whether you're okay with it. Withdrawal. Withdrawal. Perhaps. I, I think the only thing that didn't pass, as we mentioned, was the... Um, was the amendments to the accessory dwelling units or accessory apartments. Um, and I think, unfortunately, I think it, it's, it's very complicated because I think half the people who voted against it thought it went too far and half the people who voted against it thought it didn't go far enough. So I'm not really clear on any direction that the planning board would have <coughs> to move forward with this. Although a petitioned article has been discussed uh, by some people. And I read, and I read the script so very nice. You did, you, you had it, my yeah, friend. And it didn't we carry. We had a little problem with our first uh, <laughs> PowerPoint slide, but. <laughs> it didn't carry. <laughs> I guess we, we've licked our wounds enough, we're okay. <laughs> uh, meeting I, minutes. I, I did submit this information to the AG's office, just so you know. So. Uh, meeting on May 4th, that was a, uh, May 1st. Oh. That was a quick meeting, right? That was, yep, that was a quick meeting. Uh, motion approved, May 1st meeting, 2019. Second. We have a motion on the floor, any comments? Minutes are perfect as always. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstained? Abstained. One abstention. Motion on the uh, May 4, uh, approval of minutes. Second. I have a motion on the floor. All in, uh, any more comments? Seeing none here and none. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstained? Abstained. Okay. Thank you again, Kathy, for all your hard work. And I'm sorry, Mr. Robin, wasted your time. Thank you. Okay. I know. I, I, I could tell you put a lot of time into it. You never know. if you, I don't know how you guys are going to feel about stuff, so I want to give you as much information as possible to make your decision. So. Um, Board of Appeals, you sent something out. Um, was it yesterday or Friday? It wasn't Within yesterday. Last week it was, must have been Monday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there was a couple you. decisions and then the um, agenda. The next meeting. Uh, committee updates. Any updates from anybody? No. Yeah. And uh, is Joe all right? Is she just away, or is she not feeling well? Or? She didn't indicate. She was just oh. um, let me know yesterday that she was. I can give you a partial update from um, the RAC committee relative to wastewater. Um, Lee is our uh, representative from the planning board, but I serve as the Bass River um, representative as well. And um, we're looking at the regional agreement going before the legislature within the la within the next maybe two to three months to get approved. And at that point, uh, we're going to be looking at funds relative to design and engineering work for phase one. And that will go over a period of uh, a year or two. Um, it, it's kind of a gray area because all of the input isn't in from the three towns. They're just weighing a lot of the situations. Um, there's a, a public meeting coming up at the Cultural Center June 24th. Uh, that's a Monday at 6 o'clock, and um, that would be interesting. We're going to have a slide presentation along with speakers. program will be about uh, an hour, Q&A after, and um, hopefully the uh, general public can, atten can attend. We've uh, invited four organizations from the area, and um, so we should get a pretty good turnout. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, board member items. Correspondence. Are we getting any more hate mail? Or is that dropped off since town meeting? It's dropped off since uh, town okay. meeting. Okay. <laughs> we were so popular for a while that yeah, we just it. like lots of notes. Staff updates. Um, we are having a meeting tomorrow for the Bass River Bridge to talk about aesthetics. I think some of you have been coming to them. Um, so that's tomorrow at 10 o'clock and it's over in Dennis and there's going to be representatives from Dennis there as well. So hopefully the designers will have some. Uh, some plans or ideas of um, ways that they can incorporate some improvements to the bridge um, based on our last meeting, things like overlooks, entranceway treatments, different types of railings that could make things look a little bit nicer. Um, 
the, the municipal vulnerability preparedness final report has been completed and is on the town website if anybody is interested in that. We will be submitting that to um, EEA for their approval to become a formally designated MVP uh, community, which opens up a lot more uh, grant opportunities and also improves our standing on other grants that we apply for who actually ask that question with whether we're an MVP community. Um, so that's progress. That took a whole year, and I thank all the people out there who went to that long uh, workshop meeting and, and came to the uh, listening session. It was very, very helpful to have that. Um, the Parker's River Bridge um, is moving forward. Um, it should be um, out to bid in the Central Register tomorrow um, with the bids package available um, next Wednesday, which reminds me I need to update the Board of Selectmen on that. Um, <laughs> And then we will be having a pre-bid meeting later this month and then hopefully with bid opening um, on July 24th. Uh, we will not have our access permit uh, prior to going out to bid, uh, but hopefully we'll have a draft version of it during the bidding process so the contractors will be aware of that. So if everything goes well and we have enough money and we have a good qualified bidder, uh, we should start construction after Labor Day. Okay. All of the um, easements uh, have been put, yes, sir. put in place? And it's been a bit of a struggle because um, it's not a mass DOT project, it's a town-led project with DER and a bunch of other state and federal partners uh, as a title restoration project and it is very important for our wastewater uh, component but uh, it's being done as a permit project through mass DOT and they don't normally do huge bridge projects that way. Normally they do it and they have a project manager and they have all their internal uh, mm. processes that, that go through. Um, so it's been a little challenging getting through that. Um, we have completed the Route um, 6A a initial series of public input meetings that we had and we're compiling the comments. Um, we didn't really come to a lot of consensus um, it was a very well attended. I was very impressed with the number of people that came out and the number of different comments that we got. It was like exactly what we were looking for. But Good. there really wasn't a lot of consensus on what a preferred concept might be. And a lot of other items were brought up with regard to like maybe undergrounding the utilities or looking at um, the Route 6A and Union Street intersection or the Willow Street intersection, maybe thinking that those need more work than maybe some of the physical improvements that we had been looking at. Didn't they talk about sidewalks as well? Y yes, I mean, that was the emphasis of the, of the review that has been done recently or the visualizations was really improving pedestrian access, mm -hmm. improving the crosswalks, maybe doing a little bit of improvement in the village area, kind of more of a sprucing up. Uh, all in conjunction with um, a water main replacement project that's going to need to happen along 6A in, in the near future. They have a lot of breaks, a lot of problems uh, in that area. So the idea was, well, what else can we do um, when we're rebuilding the road or rebuilding an area from the water main? What else can we do to spruce up the area and make it, make it look a little bit nicer? But I think we're going to basically summarize the, the information and maybe meet with the Board of Selectmen and try to get their input and maybe some guidance on how they'd like us uh, to proceed on that. I, th I thought the uh, uh, suggestion uh, for a little, for, for that um, horse um, um, trough, the horse trough right at the intersection of uh, Summer Street, the, f the way that the, w the ar architect uh, was uh, explaining it and uh, moving it to the opposite side of the intersection and making a little pocket park out of it, I, it was a very nice treatment that, mm -hmm. that was being proposed. But what was, uh, what was uh, surprising was the vehemence of the uh, people who w didn't want anything like that. It, it, just, it, it just didn't make that much sense uh, to, to, to see a, a willingness to, 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 to do something uh, neat, uh, something uh, that would be a benefit um, rather than just the way it is now. Uh, actually sitting in, in uh, within the highway right of way, but um, unusable uh, from, from its original purpose. So it, it, there was a good effort, I thought, to, to make it reasonable, and it was rejected out of hand. It was interesting. It was a very interesting, diverse um, number of comments. Um, 
people coming at from very different angles and yeah. perspectives. It was I very think, good. Um, the reason why is where the horse, horse trough is, it's very historical and there's a dedication there mm -hmm. you know, from, the, from the village people and they don't want to move it. Yeah. I mean, I think they want to protect it, you know. Understood. Do some geometry around it and, you know, right, right well, now. Well, uh, that, that's, another, that's another option, sure. sure. But uh, the, the, the suggestion was made in good faith and, and it was so roundly <laughs> rejected. It was, <laughs> you know. It, it, don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch it. Um, so, okay. we've got to go back to the drawing boards on that yep. one. But I, I, one comment I'd like to make, though, uh, I made a comment. At, at, I spoke in public mm -hmm. about the underground utilities, mm -hmm. and um, I know that I think it was the consultant that said, "Well, you know, uh, the town is going to have to pay for the design, and yeah. the, so what? Yeah. yeah. So what? When you, when you look at what those poles look like, mm -hmm. and the fact that every time somebody hits a pole." Everybody loses electricity, mm -hmm. and uh, people get hurt in the process. Yeah. I Everybody think one. I think one of the good things that might be might come out of this is well, maybe we need to hire VHB to write a memo on what's what's truly involved with undergrounding the utilities. They've done it recently on some other projects. Um, million dollars a mile. Mm. It's more than a million oh, dollars. Uh, it used to be about like yeah. probably like five. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's oh. very expensive because. Um, you have to connect all the houses, and once you touch, and this is my understanding, uh, and once you touch the individual electrical in the house, you ha that has to be brought up to code. Oh, yeah. So I think that there's some, it's not that it's impossible and it gets done, but it's not, this isn't something that's going to happen in two years or five years. It's probably take a little bit longer than that, and it will cost the town some money that just the townspeople will have to decide if that's how they want to spend their money. Right. I you know, they, they say it's expensive, and, and, and it is, but it, in the long run, it, between the safety and aesthetics and, and, uh, and, maintenance. The, and the inconvenience and the maintenance and everything else, believe it or not, it's not a big deal. Okay. It really isn't. You put a duct bank in, you put extra ducts in, you have to put ducts in for, for your cable and, you know, uh, telephone or whatever. But it's not a hard thing to do, and and it's not. I don't think it's ex that expensive. I mean, I I was involved in several projects where we did this, mm. and we did it in historic districts, and people were more than willing to do it. Mm -hmm. It could look really, really nice. Mm. It really could. Yeah. At, at least you know, and maybe it's a certain segment that gets done first. Um, Long-term program, yeah. Yeah, with a little bit of a more of a long-term program. I mean, we do have a big infrastructure project coming up called wastewater. So, <laughs> um, I don't know where all the funds are going to come yeah, from that. But yeah, it, but it waste good, it wastewater in, isn't going to go to six A. No, it's not. Well, okay. not, 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 not that not, not the, that portion of six A. Not while I'm not, alive. Not in the plan scheme <laughs> we have at the moment. But one one other comment I would like to make is, I think, on the south side of. Uh, that strip, uh, I kind of looked at the area in terms of sidewalks, and I really think you can put a sidewalk almost continuously along there. There are a few problems where you got to put the sidewalk around a tree and, and get some get get an easement or something like this. Mm -hmm. But having a sidewalk, especially in that in the village area uh, from say the Congregational Church and the library all the way to Willow Street mm. is a really good idea. I mean, the activity that goes on there several times a year where we have strolls and, and other things, other activities in there, it really encourages people also to walk the village. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people who, who walk it mm -hmm. even though there's no sidewalk there. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous on the north side, on the sidewalk at mm. times when yeah. the sidewalk's lower than the road and there's no right. green strip or anything. It's right, the sidewalks need to be raised yeah. and uh, there's a bunch of things there. That, you know. I, I would echo uh, what Lee has said about uh, sidewalks on the south side too. It, um, uh, from, the, from the plans that were shown, 
there's certainly enough room to for for uh, uh, at least a three foot sidewalk, possibly even a four foot sidewalk. But it 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 um, it, it would enhance the the um, uh, captain's walk, the uh, uh, access to any of any of the properties uh, through that area as, as well. Yeah, the problem is is that if you're constructing a sidewalk now. A three-foot sidewalk it, doesn't cut it. it. <laughs> you could possibly have a four-foot sidewalk, but every 200 feet or something, you'd need a five-by-five five turnaround. So if someone's in a wheelchair, they'd have an opportunity to turn around. Um, I think at one of the meetings, someone um, identified that uh, the, the sidewalk that's up there now had gotten done as some type of repair project. I mean, it was a very, or a maintenance project. It wasn't done as a full-blown project where you'd have to meet all the regulations. I don't think you'd get away with that. Today. Well, um, just last <laughs> just just last year, there was uh, an extensive sidewalk project on on the Barnstable side. Uh, they did a, they did extended their sidewalks right up to the town line. They did, and I believe and, and that was done as a maintenance project. Um, okay. And that might be a possibility, but that's of an existing sidewalk to try and create a new sidewalk on the south side, calling it a maintenance might be a little bit different. No, there were new sidewalks to be they constructed. Oh, interesting. It's not, it's not, it's safety. Yeah. That's, that's the issue, safety. Okay. That's a good point. I've got to move this along just because, as I said, this I've got a queasy stomach and I don't want to have a little problem there. So upcoming meetings, we have June 19th and July 3rd, question mark, are we going to Pull that one. Well, we just, it's on the docket just in case we have business. Yeah, okay. I don't have anything right now for the 19th or the th or the third. Typically, well, we don't. Summer schedule. Summer schedule. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! All right. So I'll keep you posted. Thank you. All. Call for an adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for your time. Thank you for having a quorum here tonight. You bet.